Hello everyone and welcome back to Animal Crossing. My name is Banana Pylord. Today is March 3rd, also known as Day 62 in our year-long adventure in the Animal Crossing, and we have some mail. Hopefully it's something amazing. I'm apologizing. Oh wow. Okay. Nook. Nook. And happy room. Two letters from Nook? Oh wait, okay, never mind. I was like, why do I have two letters? Those are the things I ordered in the catalog. Holy crap, I am a little retarded. What does he say? We are pleased to deliver the harp that you ordered. Please visit Nookingtons again. And I'm guessing this is just going to say thanks for the screen. Yep, the screen. And this is from Happy Room Academy. What did I get? 30,000! Hey! I'm, uh, I'm actually getting better with that, I'm surprised. So I'll remove these two presents, because I already know what they are. Obviously. So how are you guys doing? I do have a random question for today's video. I'm pretty excited to answer this one, because it's a pretty good one. So let's go in here real quick, I'm going to drop this off in my house, and then we will go about with our day, go on to the random question. And guys, don't forget, tomorrow is... Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow is Challenge Monday. So if you guys want to leave a challenge, and I kind of... I'm going to try and complete it or do it in uh, Monday's video. A good example is... You can only hit, like, one money rock, and if you get it wrong, well... You can't hit anymore. So basically, if I hit a money rock and it's not the money rock, I can't try for any other rocks for the rest of the episode. I think that's a pretty good idea for when someone left that. I apologize if I did not mention you, but kind of forgot your name. But that's that was basically his idea. And did I block myself in here? Okay, we'll do this instead. I'm gonna really have to clean this up. I'm hoping the Able Sisters are gonna have something that I haven't seen in a while because I'm getting a little tired of this. If they don't, I'll just come back in here and randomly match some stuff and on Wednesday we're gonna be doing the pick my clothes thing I decided Monday would be better for challenge and then Wednesday would be kind of a closed day do something like that uh, any of my flowers dying luckily they're not these flowers are spawning extra flowers I also have some things to talk about on the game front regarding Tyler and myself doing our game that was a terrible sentence I apologize but it's mildly disheartening news, but I will get into it a little bit later on in this video. But for right now, let's be all happy watering our flowers a little bit after six. And it's super dark, but it's really calming. And oh, by the way, guys, I did actually find out a way to where I'll be able to use headphones and hear the sounds in this game because it has become a noticeable problem. Oh, another hybrid. Holy crap. <laughs> That looks really cool. It's become a noticeable problem for me because what'll happen is presents will go by, go by and they make a sound. Residents will have fleas on them and they make a specific sound, but I can't hear any of this because I have my volume turned down so low so my microphone won't pick it up. Well, I found a way that I am going to be able to do this. I don't know when exactly I'll be able to get this in the mail because what I can do... Oh, let's see. I'm going to need my net. Is... With my uh, TV, I can't like, okay, I can't like put any headphones in or anything, but I can put in like an external speaker kind of thing. So like kind of a plug and play speaker-ish thing, and then I can plug my headphones into that, and it'll work, so that's fantastic. I'm really excited to do that, and that should hopefully help out a little bit. What is going on here? Red ribbon. You know what? I'll take it. I feel like going with the red ribbon today. And, uh, I'm gonna take the bear top, even though I'm pretty sure I already have this, but I'm not picky today, what can I say, man? Uh, let's put the ribbon on. And let's put the bear top on. I'd say I'm looking... <laughs> pretty damn ugly. Oh my god. <laughs> I was also recently looking at, uh, Japanese 3DSs, because what a lot of people do to play New Leaf when they just import a 3DS is they just buy a Japanese one and then they, like, download New Leaf digitally. And I was looking at it, and it's not as expensive as I thought it would be to import one over. Now, I'm not going to do it because New Leaf does come out on June 9th for us in the Americas. Not 100% sure about Europeans or Australia or anything. I think it comes out a week or two later, something like that. But, uh, if this was last year, I probably would have done this. If I had known about it, I definitely would have, but I'm a little behind on the times, apparently. Hey, Flowers, how you doing? You beautiful little flowers. Uh, these are all doing pretty good. Oh, I've been playing Okami lately. Holy crap, is that game amazing. I know, like, every other day I'm like, man, this game is great. And then it's like, the other day, or the next day I don't even talk about it. And then the day after that I'm like, man, this other great, this other game is great. There's just a lot of really good games out there. Like, Bastion's amazing. Braid is really freaking good. Um, 
Nino Kuni is amazing as well. But, man, Okami is fun. It's like, I feel some Zelda influence in it, but the art style is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's seriously, if you have a PS3 or a Wii or something, you should definitely go out and get this. And what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to put this up here because it's kind of taking up space for right now and I don't really need it. So we'll just put that up there. Should be good. I'm going to go into Nooks and Nook is going to be like, what the fuck? You look so weird, man. I'm going to be like, sup? You like my ribbon? He's going to like my ribbon because who the hell doesn't like my ribbon? That's the question. Hey, Nook, how you doing? Um, today's our point, or point especially yes, point. Uh, you receive five times the normal amount of points. Okay, interesting. Well, first, I'm gonna get my free visitor points. Somebody told me that I don't actually need to visit this, and I can just buy something and it'll work, but I don't know if that actually does work, so I don't want to chance it. And I'm also too lazy to look it up. Uh, I need to get into- I need to talk about what happened with the game, because I know a lot of you guys are curious about that. But that'll be a little bit later on, because this episode might be mildly longer than the past few- I apologize for the- lack of entertainment in the last few videos. I have been really tired and just kind of out of my mind. Which is my problem, I should definitely make sure there's time to do this, but uh, I, I apologize. Anyways, uh, I, you know, I think I'll just talk about the game now. Uh, it's, it's pretty sad what happened on Friday. Tyler and I basically scrapped our idea for the game. And the reason why, and we're not done making a game because Good things have happened as well. But what happened was... We were like, this is a good idea. And then we went on Steam on the green light section and we were like, Hey, let's look at what other games are trying to get green greenlit to see what we're up against. And we literally found like three other games that were like us. And then Northern Lion did a video recently at a, a let's look at on a game. And it was exactly the game that we were making pretty much. So we were like, oh my god, we're making a super generic game right now. Uh, you know what, I'll take it, why the hell not? But that was pretty damn terrible and quite depressing. So we were like, oh my god, and then we really looked at it, just like, we critically looked at it and we analyzed it and we're like, this is... so generic, and it was really disheartening because we'd worked on that idea for a long time. And we had really just, like, spent hours upon hours working on it. We still have it because we could turn it into something, but for right now, we're just kind of... We would kind of have it on the side, so I'm not going to say what the game was, or like what made the game, or what was the gameplay, or all the different things, because we're still going to keep that, because we'll probably use it something for it in the future. But, um, we did have like an epiphany later that night, because we also worked on another game, and we're like, man, this is really good, and then we just thought about it, we're like, this is so... Shallow, it was almost like a rebound, except game form. How is- how are my pockets full? I had like full room. Oh, I had those too, okay. We'll put the- this up here real quick. Uh, so I- I mean like, this is a good thing though. This is why we didn't start a website right away. This is why we didn't like formally announce that we had this game idea and everything going on. Because we did that with We Are Fear, and the same thing happened. It was like we got into it and we're like, oh my god. This can't work. Well, actually, the reason why it couldn't work last time was because of graphical limitations, and Tyler didn't... Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough room! Uh, Tyler didn't know enough about programming, but that was like a year and a half ago, almost two years, so he's, uh, gotten quite a lot better at programming. But it's just, it's really sad, honestly, to spend so much time working on something and then be like, oh, this doesn't even, like, <laughs> this doesn't even work, it's so terrible, so... I apologize to anyone who was like looking forward to it even though I had barely released any details on it, but let me assure you that the epiphany that we had is beautiful. We spent a while looking at things and we were like, wow, there is no other game like this. And that is something that's amazing because it's pretty difficult to think of game ideas now, something unique at least. Like, thinking of a, a random, or not necessarily random, but a, gen a generic fantasy roguelike kind of game. There's so many of them out there, especially with The Binding of Isaac. A lot of people are trying to do things like this with roguelikes. Um, our game was mildly similar to it, and the fact that it was a roguelike, but you could kind of move around a little more freely than a traditional roguelike. But there are so many games coming out now that are like it, that are about to come out. Uh, Delve Deeper, I think, is one. I still haven't moved this because I've been really busy and I've had no time to do it, so I apologize for that. But 
I'm this epiphany is is literally something I've talked about like a thousand times. When you when you're thinking about something and then it just it just pops and you're like, "Wow, that is brilliant." And you don't you don't put much time into it. Not that I'm saying like that's not a good game, but it's just so it's just perfect. It, 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 I can't explain it. It's weird. It's like what happened to me with my music. It just it just snapped, and I was like, "Wow, that's wow, that's exactly what I want to do. It's perfect." So I'm ecstatic about this. I'm I'm also besides being ecstatic, I'm also quite sad that we kind of you know had to scrap the other idea. And I've been really like you guys noticed the enthusiasm when I talked about it. Like I wasn't just like, "Oh, yeah, this is cool. We'll work on this." I was really into that game and. I'd spent quite a lot of time thinking of stuff for it, but in the end, you know, even though something might be good, I, I think it's a bad idea to hang on to it just because we had a month of work into it. But it's also good that we didn't spend all of our time, you know, like, up until the dead point, or the due point where we really need to start getting stuff done, which is going to be around June. Like, we didn't spend all of that time up until then, like, working on this idea and then being like, wait a second, we can't do this. So, while it does suck immensely, and I'm really sad that we're not going to be able to go through with that because that would be a great game. Generic, but a great game. It's just, it's sad that we don't have it anymore. I mean, we still have it, but it's probably something we won't touch upon until the future. But, bad news aside, there is the epiphany that we had, which is amazing. Like, seriously, I'm dead excited for that. Yeah, dead excited. I went there. The random question of the day comes from a user by the name of NAA010. This user asks, What made me want to start making YouTube videos? And that is actually a really good question, and just because I'm a derp, I'm going to put a lot of things back in here. So I apologize for that. But that's actually a really good question. I've had this question asked a few times, but I haven't answered it, like, in a long time. Um, I think the last time someone asked me it was just like in a YouTube PM. But anyways, uh, I, I, st I made videos when I was about 15 uh, on a very old channel, which I will not name or link because I would like to keep this hidden even though someone out there knows it. But I made videos on that channel. And then some stuff happened, I made another channel, and then randomly I got the idea, I was like, hey, you know what? I play WoW a lot. It would be cool to do something where I do a whole Let's Play of it. And, uh, I started doing that, and the reason behind it was not just because I enjoyed it, but because I was actually... I wasn't... I was just kind of really down. Like, I was pretty depressed. It was a... It was a weird time, I think. It was around the time that, like... And Tyler and I were, like, super close, and we still and were even closer than we were before, which is pretty gay. But, he had to go to college, and I was, like, pretty depressed, honestly, because I was, like, losing my best friend, and I, he was, like, really my only friend around here, because I was also homeschooled at that point, and I didn't really have any other friends, so... Tyler was, like, my only link to actual human contact. And, uh... I just, I, I was really depressed, and making videos was something that could just take my mind off of it completely. I tried making music as well, but I was abysmal at it, and I didn't enjoy it as much as I do now. But I, I just remember, I'd feel really depressed, and I would just be like, hey, you know what, I'm gonna go make a video. And I'd go and I'd, I'd make it, and then I would just feel a lot better, especially once I started getting comments on my videos. Like, that was the greatest thing. I remember when my first video on Banana Pie Lord got 1,000 views. I, I just went, oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. And it was an amazing feeling. It really was. I was so happy with that. And then seeing more people like come in, and then like I took a break um, as of some girlfriend things. But whenever, even now, like when I make YouTube videos, it's kind of like an, uh, not an escape, but a way of venting my feelings without actually talking about it. It's the same way with with, I, with uh, when I make music. 
or even now when I just kind of doodle and draw and stuff. It's just a way to kind of let out these feelings that I have that can't necessarily be expressed with words. And you're like, how do you let out feelings in a video about Animal Crossing? Just talking right now, just making it, just like putting some time into it and then like seeing the reaction of people when they watch it is just something that can't be explained, honestly. And it's an amazing feeling. And that's really why I started making YouTube videos, because I was lonely, and I enjoyed it, obviously, and it kept me from being super depressed. So, there you go, that was my reason. It wasn't the typical, I want to get YouTube popular. I, did, I didn't even think anybody would even watch my stuff, but hey, that's cool. Do you ever suddenly realize that some phrase- yeah, okay, that's cool. YouTube has actually changed my life completely, so I completely- Thank you guys so much for just actually watching my videos. I I know I thank you guys every now and again, but it really does mean a lot that you take time to watch these because it is just... It's an honor to be able to make you videos that you enjoy, even though I know a chunk of people don't necessarily enjoy Animal Crossing videos and would rather see Minecraft, but hey, you know what? In a perfect world, I would make Minecraft videos every day, and if I did that, I'd probably have a million subscribers. But, I like Animal Crossing a lot more than Minecraft. Now, with all that said and done, um, we're just gonna try and find the money rock now, because I'm not doing a challenge, so I can do whatever I want. And guys, on Monday, we'll probably do another random comment and question, because I want to keep these in between days, like with challenges and things. So around then, I'll let you guys know in the beginning of the video. By the way, if you did stick around this long, leave the word Money Rock down in the comment section below so I know that you actually watch this far. It's pretty cool to see who actually watches this far, because a lot of you guys do. I don't know if it's like somebody sees Money Rock or like some word and they're like, hey, I want to start saying it too because everyone else is saying it, but hey, regardless of that or not, you're awesome if you watch this far. So I'm just going to grab all of these and... You know, I, I think we might just end the video because there isn't too much else to do, really. I'm kind of tired. I want to go to sleep. I got to wake up super early tomorrow. Back up to 50 grand. I'm proud about that. Um, yeah, why the hell not? I think we're going to end it. I, could, I can go edit and then I can go to sleep or I can play more Okami. I really... Really been enjoying Okami, by the way. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Tomorrow's episode is going to be the challenge episode. I'm excited to see what evil and vicious and vile challenges you guys come up with. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. I will see you on tomorrow's episode. My name is Banana Pie Lord.